Yoon Seo-gyeol of the main opposition People's Power Party will be leading South Korea for the next five years. Yoon was elected the country's new president early Thursday, capping off one of the closest presidential races in history. According to the National Election Commission, the president-elect had 48.6 percent of the vote against his rival Lee Jae-myung of the ruling Democratic Party's 47.8 percent. Yoon's gap with Lee was less than one percentage point, marking the narrowest gap in all president elections held here. Meanwhile, the number three candidate Shim Sang-jung had about 2.4 percent of the vote. This year's election was seen by many as the country's worst election due to the public's higher aversion to the candidates. But despite the large number of swing voters that refused to support any contender, more than 34 million out of 44.2 million eligible voters had cast their ballots. Among them, nearly 1 million COVID-19 patients and those in quarantine participated in exercising their sacred voting rights. President-elect Yoon Seo-gyeol delivered a victory speech at his party's headquarters. Although he has no governing experience, Yun made his name as a former prosecutor general who pursued high-profile corruption cases. By riding a wave of public anger at the Moon Jae-in administration, Yun appealed to many voters who wanted a change of government. The surprise last-minute merger with An Chur Su from the Minor People's Party created momentum for Yun's victory. The two will now work on merging the two parties. Yoon's election pledges included improving the economy, tightening the alliance with the U.S., and taking a harder line with North Korea. He also promised a real estate supply plan, which includes providing 300,000 houses to young people at cost and establishing a specialized institution to reform regulations to create jobs. But from Ukraine crisis to stalled nuclear talks with the North, Yoon also has a lot of global issues to deal with once he takes the office. As a successor to current President Moon Jae-in, Yoon is scheduled to officially begin his five-year term on May 10. A formal inauguration ceremony will soon be held at the National Assembly, where he will be sworn in as South Korea's 20th president.